So obviously anyone who's behind bars is hoping to have a nice place to sleep, food, comfort, as you were saying, but is this place really dangerous? I know that they listed a couple of statistics that there had been several suicides, even potentially murders. So is it possible that he could be in danger? So he's in protective custody now in the SHU unit, but his lawyer, Mark Agnifilo, pointed out recent events in that prison. And MDC Brooklyn has been plagued with a lot of violent acts. It's been really criticized in terms of the conditions that prison inmates have to live with. Mm. Uh, And certainly uh, Diddy would be facing uh, potential dangers because a prison by virtue of it being a prison, is not necessarily a good place to be. It's not a safe place to be, uh, but particularly this facility is known to have a lot of problems in the last few years. What would it look like for Diddy in this protective care unit, I guess? He's separated from general population, but what is his day-to-day like? So Diddy's life in the SHU, in that specialized housing unit where he's been placed for his own safety, is going to be something that's rather uh, routine and mundane. He's not going to be necessarily even enjoying some of the things that general population, aka Gen Pop, enjoys because he's being in a special segregated unit for his own safety, which means he's going to be under more constant observation by guards, his uh, comings and goings in and out of his cell for recreational time and for meal time are gonna be more scrutinized. So although the shoe unit is technically for the prison inmate's safety, and of course, Diddy being a high profile inmate requires that, uh, it also means more restrictions for that inmate. Following Diddy's arrest, I feel like that be the big thing that people like Diddy, they can't really like wrap their mind around. You go from living lavish, private jets, going wherever you want, having control of everything, having control of other people. And then you go to prison or jail and you under this protective custody and they are constantly observing you. You don't have your freedom no more. You can't eat the foods that you want to eat. You can't sleep how you want to sleep. You are completely under somebody else's control. 